started conservation work at Farnborough Hall in 1993. In partnership with Natural England and our tenant farmer Bob Pick, we're investing almost £600,000 in, in this ambitious and exciting conservation plan to recreate the grand plan as it was intended in the 18th century and to preserve this very special landscape for our future generations. The park is considered a very rare and complete example of a firm orne, which is an ornamented farm, created in the 18th century by William Holbeach II. Many of the features on the earliest known plan of the estate, Linnell's plan of 1772, survive and are still recognisable on the ground today. Though it has lost legibility over the centuries, it, centuries, it is fairly easy to replace the historic legibility with tree planting and some clearance. William Holbeach II went on grand tour in the 1730s, returning in 1734 with inspirations from the places he visited, such as Florence, Rome and Venice. The improvements on the landscape at Farnborough probably started in the late 1730s, with advice from his friend and neighbour Sanderson Miller. The centrepiece is, is the Serpentine Terrace, which was created as a carriageway from the hall to Mollington, so that William and Hugh, his brother, could meet each day. It was laid out to maximise the views over the Firm Ornay and beyond. But this isn't just about history, it's also about ecology and wildlife conservation and delivering significant environmental benefits. Salwyn's Pool is the key area to start, as this is where we have full public access. Over the next couple of years, we'll clear woodland understory, self-set trees and poor tree specimens to recreate the view from the west side of the hall and through the amphitheatre. We'll capitalise on the natural life cycle of trees. If the good trees are, are good, we'll keep them, but we'll not replant them in the future. The culverts at the end of the lake are also in need of reconstruction work, as these are very close to collapse, and these will be a priority in years one and two. It's really great for us to have a focus here at Farnborough and to support the delivery of the National Trust's core purpose, our land forever for everyone.